Hello. Before I give you a speech, which is what we're doing today, uh, I want to talk about some of these words. Comparing things. Now, we're talking about food again, mm. but we're comparing when you've got two things. So we need some food words that we can compare. For example, salty. Salty. Uh, sushi is salty. Uh, potato, potato fries. French fries. French fries are salty. Saltier. That. When you've got two things, which one is saltier? Sushi or French fries? Ah, I think French fries. French fries are saltier than. When you've got two things. Okay, so we've got salty, saltier than. Greasy. Japanese uh, fat, fatty, abarapoi, I think. Greasy. Greasier. The Y becomes I E R. <laughs> Uh, yakisoba is greasy. Fish and chips is very greasy. Fish and chips is greasier than yakisoba. Okay, tasty, tasty, yeah, tasty, mm, delicious. On Japanese talk show, oishi. In English, we just go mm, oh, tasty, tasty, yeah. I think fish and chips is tastier than yakisoba, but maybe you think different. Sweet, sweeter, okay. Chewy and chewier. Chewy, not chewier, right? Okay, it's five. It's, I'm recording this. It's five o'clock. The sirens go off and then the dog starts howling. Ow, ow, nonstop. Anyway, so okay, and um, okay. Now you know these. I'm going to give you a little speech about national food. Now, I know a good national food. In England, of course, is fish and chips, but we've already talked a little bit about that before. I'm going to talk about my favourite national dish is a full English breakfast. Huh? What is a full English breakfast? Uh, a full English breakfast is sausages, bacon, eggs, fried tomatoes, fried bread, mushrooms, maybe a little garlic, uh, and what else? I think that's it. Sometimes black pudding. That's a blood sausage. I don't like that, but it's a very, very big meal and very greasy. It's greasier than French fries. Uh, it's saltier than sushi. Uh, it's not chewy, not very chewy, but it is tastier, tastier than Japanese breakfast, I think. Maybe you think differently. Now, we're going to do a speech. That was not a very good speech, but here's, you're going to do a better one. Number 25, meals. Uh, uh, it says, what's your favourite national dish? That means if, national dish. For example, in Italy, spaghetti. Uh, in England, fish and chips, or full English breakfast, maybe. In Japan, national dish. Could be sushi. Could be tempura. Uh, soba, I don't know. Think about a popular national dish, and I want you to talk about it, and and use words like saltier, greasier, tastier. Another word you might want to use is healthy. Healthy. Oh, let me get a pen that works. Healthy and healthier. healthier than. So, for example, sushi is healthier than fish and chips. I want you to think about some Japanese food. Write down the main points here and give me a beautiful speech that will make me hungry, I hope. Okay, talk to you soon. I'm going to talk about A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Um, Charles Dickens was a famous English writer in the 19th century. And this is maybe one of his most famous short stories. Um, it's been made into many plays and TV shows. And it's about a um, selfish businessman at Christmas time who's becoming an old man and he's going to die soon. And he gets visited by three ghosts who tell him, don't be so selfish. 
maybe you know the story. I'm going to read the back and then I'll ask you three questions, okay? A Christmas Carol. Christmas is humbug, Scrooge says. It's Scrooge. He's Scrooge. Uh, just a time when you find yourself a year older and not a penny richer. The only thing that matters to Scrooge is business and making money. But on Christmas Eve, three spirits, ghosts, come to visit him. They take him travelling on the wings of the night to see the shadows of Christmas past, present and future. And Scrooge learns a lesson that he will never forget. Okay, three questions. Number one, what's the name of the character? What's his name? Number two, what's the name of the author? Number three, how many ghosts visit him? Okay, see you next time. Thank you.